Welcome on the Aviation Cult YouTube channel. My name is JB and you haven't heard my voice in quite a while. <coughs> but I'm back and today I'm going to show you how you can install mods like airplanes and like scenery for, uh, to your sim, to your X-plane sim. So, first off I can show you where you can get add-ons. If you really want only free stuff you can check out the xplane.org forums. There you can find a lot of different kind of scenery and um, also some planes. You can um, then install it, but you can't expect like payware, graphics and system systems, but either way it's quite okay. For example here we have <coughs> a package. I have no idea what it is, but probably you can... Okay, yeah, it is an, it is an uh, plugin. In a different video I can show you how to install plugins, but this video only covers the scenery and also the airplanes. So I can show you where you can get payware stuff. For example, it's the x Arc Store. There you can get like really, really quality payware. For example, here we have the ERJ models, which are quite okay. It's not top-notch, but they are good. Then we have the Tolis A319, which is brand, brand new. And it's pretty, pretty good. I've uh, I've seen a lot of videos and it looks pretty impressive. But you can also get, for example, the Rotate MD-80 or, for example, the Boeing 767 by um, Flight Factor, which is really top-notch. And if you want to um, get some Aerosoft scenery, you can get it, of course, in the Aerosoft store. They also have an English section if you can't read it in German. But nevertheless, let's jump in and I, I'll show you how you can install the mods. Here we have the x 11. You will open the folder and then we start with the aircraft. So we go in the aircraft folder. Yours will look like this, but you won't have the mods folder. I will su suggest to um, create one like normal folder you will create it like this then you will call it mods or if you I don't know you can call it however you want to but then um, you will always keep track of the mods you have installed and see it on one glance because if you install it to your um, Lumina research folder you have already a lot of different airplanes inside and it's hard to keep track of so <coughs> then you grab this your plane, in this case is the Boeing 787 by Magnite, then you pull it into the folder and you're done. Yeah, that's it. Then it's installed. You don't have to do anything el else. It's, it's just done. So pretty easy. And for the scenery, it's basically the same. You go to your custom scenery folder, open it, take it, and drop. I think I just put it into 3D. Yeah, okay. And you just pull it into the custom scenery folder. And that's it. It is installed. Um, now when you, when you start up the, um, the sim the first time, you will notice that you won't have pictures for the airplane. But I can show you how to create them. It's pretty easy and pretty fast. So we start up the sim. It will load a bit. I haven't played X-Plane in quite a while right, while right now. But I will get into it later on again then we can start flying together so it will load now quite a while like the explain always the, uh, does and then you can start using your mods so just have to wait another second Okay, then you can you go to your typical procedure when you start the sim up. It's like that. And here we have it. It's the Boeing 787 and we don't have any pictures. Okay, I have some, but in general you won't have it because I already installed it once. So we are going to Echo Delta Delta Lima, which is Düsseldorf. I have installed it just <laughs> a few seconds ago with you. Now we can start it up and then you will see that everything will work just fine. And that's it, really. It's so easy.
Now the loading procedure will take also a while because it has to f um, load up the new scenery and um, custom scenery is in general a bit larger than your than your vanilla scenery so we just have to wait again and here we are <coughs> at Düsseldorf Airport this is the Qantas Boeing 787 which I have installed just now and this is the scenery and honestly it looks pretty good um, we'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole scenery so you can see it is installed and <coughs> now I show you how to create the new icons you go up go to Entwickler it should be uh, yeah should be a different name in English then you can go to moment where is it uh, would be something like generate generate new icons for the um, for the airplane then you start it it will load a little bit and then it will switch to all of the diff different um, liveries you have and that's basically it and now it creates all the all the icons so I have I I have okay <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you liked it just leave a thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to see more videos like this I hope you have a good day and bye bye and see you later